over the top, always. Unfortunately, I live in a small condo right now, so I can only put up so much. But always a fan of over the top, a lot of old school, big lights. Uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> Classic. Absolutely, yes. I love twinkling white lights. Um, I love, again, ornaments that I've collected over the years. Very simple menorah. Um, but love the white lights. I was always an over-the-top kind of guy, but I never went completely over the top. But I always thought the more the merrier, the more the merrier. You get it? Classic. Actually, I am one of those people who hates to put my kids' homemade ornaments on my tree. I try to get it right in the middle. So we have lights outside, but we don't go crazy. Because then you just don't stop. You know, you have to stop at some point. Classic. Although yeah. I like classic, but my family always did over the top. It was really embarrassing. Well, you had your Christmas tree flocked this year. What the flock is <laughs> that? And we've gotten to the point where we started putting out anything that was Christmas in our closet. It had to go out. And then we started realizing it took forever to put it back up. So now we just get out some of the things that are, I guess, more sentimental to us. And we may still leave a lot of stuff in the Christmas shelf, you know, that we don't get out. But just to kind of make it nice and simple and we know that we're celebrating and um, but we don't really go over over the top I don't go over the top outside either I, we have our wreaths out and I shine spotlights up on them but we don't have the inflatables not that there's a, anything wrong with that so we do two trees I hope my kids don't see this um, we do one tree where it is all of the ornaments from our travels and anything that the kids made and then we have another tree that is in the foyer that is more mommy's pretty decorated, don't touch, breakable ornament tree. Well, let's see, it's ridiculous. We have a bit of a divide in our household. I am a um, understated uh, white lights person. And so long ago, my husband and I decided that I would win and white lights would be on the tree and that he would get to control outside, which you see over my shoulder. What outside is? We're classic. We're we're old school. You know, in my old age, uh, we've gone. I've gone less. I've gone toward the nun. Uh, and typically, my wife and children will do decorations. Uh, and I got the reason that happened is because one year uh, we were real late on getting uh, a tree and everything. <laughs> and I discovered that trees are like five dollars on Christmas Eve. That, that changed my life, you know what I mean? I would go crazy if I had unlimited resources and time and had an industrial ladder, but uh, I have none of those things. Oh, way over the top, way, way, way. I am the Clark Griswold of our neighborhood. I don't know how it started, but it, it might have started small. I don't remember, I, but my, I could show you pictures. My yard's covered. Yeah, I, I have a lot of up in the tree and all over the place. We have a snowman, we have a couple of Santa Clauses that are lit up. We have uh, this year, finally, a nativity scene um, that's all lit up and then just lights everywhere. No, I, Georgia Power loves me this time of year because but the bill goes way up. I, uh, um, we, we tend to do the classic, but I, I don't think you can have enough lights. The big thing is a dark spot in a Christmas tree yeah is blasphemy. You so have annoying. Just, you know, my yeah. idea is like at least eight to ten strands of a hundred lights. You know, I want that thing to be very close to catching fire. <laughs> so, um, outside the house, we are like, um, I don't know, all the people on Facebook are calling us the Griswolds. So yes, outside the house, we are insane. And inside the house, we are tame. And now you can go out and spend a hundred dollars on a tree two, three, four weeks early, or wait till Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve and get a five dollar tree. I was done. 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 That was it, man. I I decided, hey, look, I'm not putting up a tree. I'm not buying a tree until Christmas Eve. But my wife and children, they wouldn't let me. They they do it early, so that's on them now. I'm not spending my money on a five dollar tree. Uh, I, I have to have a really big tree. Just one really big tree and other than that some stockings on the fireplace and and I'm good. So I, I like these new laser light things though. Have you seen yes. those? Those are pretty darn cool. I think yeah. next year we may be like the Griswolds. <laughs> Just get those lights going everywhere. I try to overdo lights on the tree. Uh, I will take 10 boxes of lights and put them on one tree just because I want the tree to be ridiculously bright. 